look at me. This is me with a couple of product staples. This is big, folks. This is big. Hello everyone, Kayla here, and this is What the Kink, a natural hair channel. I'm definitely all about simplifying, and this is a big simplification move for me. I have noticed that over this current year, which I know we're only a couple months into this year, I have developed a couple of product staples where I am just not interested in looking further for additional or new products in that category, or I just find that I keep going back to the same product in that category. And I love that for me. Um, ultimately, it does save money to just kind of stick with a thing, even if it's a more pricey thing. Um, and I do feel like this is a throwback situation as well, because in the olden days, um, because my channel actually is a lot older than what you see as public videos, and I was a blogger before. What we used to do is we used to have like a staples page and we would say what our product staples were, or we would regularly update our product staples. It was kind of expected or the norm that you would have regular products that you use. It's not this, I'm trying stuff all the time, which is what we do now. So anyway, let me get into the staples uh, that I have noticed myself developing. So first thing we have here is we have Giovanni Shampoo and conditioner okay i grabbed the unopened products instead of the stuff that's in my shower so this is the actually the giovanni uh 50 50 shampoo i am currently like a little ways down on the giovanni tea tree shampoo i would say it's, it's a similar size bottle and we have maybe this much left of it and i want it to take us down a cleansing level to the 50 50 but overall, I like this brand. I'm not interested in really branching out or going to other brands as far as the shampoo. And then the conditioner, I think I am going to eventually go to the matching 50-50. There is currently a conditioner bottle of the same size that is in the shower. That's what we're currently using. Um, when that goes down, this is the only other bottle of the, the tea tree that we have. Then once this goes away, I'm going to go back to the store and see if I can cop because I get these at TJ Maxx. See if I can cop the 5050 conditioner version of this. If I can't get it, I'll have to buy it on um, iHerb or something like that. Um, or, uh, no, massagewarehouse.com is probably where I have to get it because our health food store carries the tea tree line, but it does not carry the 5050 line at all. So that's a staple. I enjoy using that shampoo and that conditioner. My husband enjoys using that shampoo and that conditioner. I don't think it's going to be that much of a dish difference or an issue with downgrading to the 50-50. Um, we enjoy it. Now, also, um, I'm going to have to give it to Kinky Curly Come Clean as a staple as well. You guys have watched me use this over the years. This is this should not be a surprise that this is a staple. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Kinky Curly Come Clean, it is a very clarifying shampoo. In fact, a lot of people put it in the chelating category. What chelating is, is that it's shampoo that has ingredients that, in addition to clarifying the hair also contain ingredients that remove mineral deposits caused by hard water on the hair. I live in Florida. It should not be a surprise that we have hard water. Like I'm talking, there are places in my house where like if you get water out of the refrigerator, the little thing that you push it in, there's like like a calcified track where, the, where water has been. Um, some of the faucets and things in my house, they have like that brown stuff on it and we have to like vinegar it a bit like some of the shower heads we will sometimes vinegar them like put a little bag of vinegar up on it because we have hard water and it will kind of like rust over and stuff like that and so you better believe that stuff is also getting into our hair as we use the water to uh to do our hair and the really the only way to really get around that you can buy those fancy shower heads but really the only way to truly get around that is to buy a whole house water softener system and we just have not done that so how do I get around it I occasionally pop this on my head uh hair <laughs> and it removes mineral deposits so that's why I like it also that may be why I don't get as much of a harsh feeling from the kinky curly come clean as other people do now I'm not gonna do two lathers with this but I don't get as much of a harsh feeling as other people do and I think it's because my shampoo is doing a little bit more work it's removing a little bit more from my hair because I do have hard water stuff probably likely deposited on my hair anyways so moving on I also have other staples from the kinky curly brand that I notice that I buy all the time now I am someone who rotates through my stylers naturally 
I'm a YouTuber, okay? I'm making YouTube content, and a lot of it centers around setting my wash and go. So I um, am excited to try new products and explore in that area, but I've noticed this one combo I keep coming back to is the Kinky Curly combo because I, I do it when I have to travel. I do it when I go get my hair cut. Like, literally, this is the go-to combo, right? So that's the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In. And this is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard, okay? These two together produce a really awesome look on, on me. And you, you guys, again, should not be surprised. And then if you're like, okay, but Kayla, you just said you live in Florida. And this combo can be tragic for Florida because it's very humectant forward, right? So then, of course, here's another staple. This is the Inba Naturals Curl Embrace Holding Gel. It has a name now. So the Curl Embrace Holding Gel is a nice little... Um, flexible kind of humidity shield that I like to put over this it really elongates the wash and go that I get from the kinky curly system it adds shine um, it, I, I can go out in the Florida humidity and I'm not really worried about how my hair comes out so this is a really awesome product I do have a code that will give you 15% off no matter when you use it or how often you use it and the code is simply what the kink all one word so in naturals E N B B A, and you can put that code and get fifteen percent off. And I'm not just saying that because I'm affiliated with it. Like literally, that's why I got a big bottle, baby. That's why I got a big bottle. Um, I had a small one before that, but I'm I ain't, I ain't playing that repurchase game. Um, and I like the bigger pump. So that's for wash and go staples. But then I also do other hairstyles. People sometimes come on my channel and they're shocked that I do other hairstyles or they're like, the reactions I get when I post pictures wearing other hairstyles. And I'm just like, girl, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. <laughs> like literally my other hairstyles, I would consider them to be mastered. Um, I, I, I have gone through phases of being an exclusive twist out natural, being an exclusive bantu night out and braid out natural, like got the technique down. I'm not, there's no variance of how they come out. Like they, they, they succeed every time. I know exactly what products. And so naturally I've come to a place with those products where I don't really, or with those styles, where I don't really experiment much with them because I just know, right? So talking about my first one, I will say are the um, twist, two strand twist. I always, 100%, if you see me with two strand twist or a twist out, I use the pattern custard. That is the product that I used. Like, there is no question. I know it's really popular to use phones these days. I mean, maybe that's great. Haven't tried it, okay? I use the pattern custard. I like it because, first of all, the twists come out beautiful. <laughs> they look good, girl. Then when you take them out, this product, I think it, it, I think it might be really emollient. Let me see. You've got linseed oil. And it's kind of higher up on the ingredients. You got a couple polyquats as well. I don't know, girl, but I find that the humidity does not start attacking my uh, twist out. I can keep the, the twist in quite. I keep I can keep the twist out in my hair quite a while, and my hair looks good all the way through. Um, and it is a true custardy texture. If you're not familiar with it, my husband hates the smell. They did come out with their Palo Santo line, and this was not a part of the Palo Santo line, so I can't get it in another scent. And when I picked this up to film this video, and I feel how light it was, I was like, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute, girl. I don't do twists that often because I do them about the size of pencils, and so for me to do a full head of them with this much hair, it does take a long time for, the, for me to do them. So the other hairstyles I'm going to talk about, I do them a little bit more frequently because they're quicker. <laughs> All right, so if I'm doing a braid out or a bantu night out, I do use foam for those. And typically the product that I've been leaning towards is the pattern, um, what do they call theirs? The curl mousse. This, this hold will give you, or it gives me, okay? Because everybody's hair reacts differently to different sets and stretching and stuff like that. This gives me Easter curls. This gives me a little bit of crunch crunch. It's very shiny. The hair lasts for a really long time. I absolutely love this. I'm someone who I just out of habit will re-smooth my hair, both the braid outs and the bantu knot outs. I will reset them about halfway through the week in like a larger sections and then separate them back out to the original set that I had. So it kind of slightly elongates the hair, but the main thing is it re-smooths it. I probably don't have to do I probably could get a couple more days than that, but I just, you know, like to be safe. Um, but this, 
this delivers i absolutely love this this has excellent hold again it does have the same scent as the other products we don't enjoy the scent in this household my husband especially does not like the scent of this however this did come out in the palo santo line so when i am ready to get another one which i don't know how much do i have in here it's hard for me to see i can't tell how much product is in here oh wait wait i see it shaking i see it shaking it's here it's here okay so and this is a eight ounce product it's just really skinny so when i get this all the way down or close to being down if and if the palo santo line is still available they do have it in sephora stores now i'm gonna go and get the other scent because hopefully it will be a little bit more of a hit around here because this product yeah this is the main product that i use um i do have another foam that was sent to me by mish and i mainly use that one when i'm slicking my hair back into like a bun or something like that um just to slick the front speaking of buns um this is what I use on the back part of the bun. Okay, so this is the Obia Naturals Curl Moisture Cream. I wasn't too crazy for it a couple years ago when I tried it, but I actually really do like it. It's not like super greasy and oily and heavy on the hair, but it does do a good job of giving my hair a coating that it needs for the week. So usually what I do is I've seen people who do their buns and they like put product from root to tip, like they'll put the foam all the way through. I do not do that. So because I don't do that, I literally only put the foam on this part, like the flat part of my head. The back part is not exposed. I am not going to leave my hair exposed to the elements for the whole time that I'm wearing a bun. Ain't no way, right? So that's why what I'll do is in the shower, um, light as I rinse out my, my conditioner or deep conditioner that I've used for the week, I will um, apply this decent amounts like two fingertips amount per little section that I do allow my hair to air dry and chunky twist and then I will brush it and style it into a bun later on after it's kind of dried just a little bit because I don't want a wet center of hair and this is excellent I, I own a couple of these I am not trying to get another curl cream I enjoy this curl cream it does what it's supposed to do so I am really happy with these products overall I have talked about other products in the past. It doesn't mean I hate those products. In fact, I'm going to link a couple of product roundups over here because people don't tend to go to the page to see that I have these roundups. So if you're interested in other products in these categories, check out one of the roundups, girl, okay? And subscribe. I post videos every week, and I'll talk to you in the next one.